Doug. And I'm Kathy. And, and this, this is, is Maggie, Maggie May. May. And this is Hans Christian Andersen. Join us as we all follow the moon. Today we join you from Solvang, California, which is the Danish capital of America. And we want to show you around this beautiful little town that if you're ever traveling up the 101 through California, you've got to make this a stop. Absolutely. Now we started off as we do in many places at the visitor center and the visitor center. We got a great map to help us find the different sites around town. Right behind that is a park that that rock is carved there with how many kilometers it is between Copenhagen and Solvang. Definitely sister cities. Beautiful green park. Everything's clean. They've got motorized trolleys as well as horse dri horse driven trolleys that you can take around town the solvang windmill which we found three in the town but this one's officially their their windmill uh is right there by the visitor center and everywhere you look it looks like you're in a different world there's a lot of outdoor activity as far as the the restaurants and eateries there's a lot of hotels. You can tell there's a lot of tourism in this little town. They pay respect to their three founding fathers. This town was originally started as a Danish settlement. It wasn't recreated into it like other towns that we visited. We went into this little spot and they had some beautiful Danish baked goods. They were yummy. So Kathy ended up with a uh, cream cheese danish and I had a uh, one that was feta and spinach. They were really, really good. It's a busy little place. Lots of people like to visit. Yes, it really is. And I guess I just couldn't get over how clean and tidy the whole town is. We could get in trouble here. Yeah. Yeah, we've very nearly gotten in trouble in those type of stores before. <laughs> there are little out of the way areas throughout the town. Uh, it's not just a one area of a couple of blocks down the main street. The whole town is done up like this. So you've got about three blocks wide and probably four or five blocks long. There's another one of the, the windmills. This is in a little beer garden right on the main street. This is actually a settlement. It truly is a settlement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the street names are all Danish. A lot of the people's last names are Danish. It's. Uh, definitely a, a planting of their culture here in the United States. That's a hotel. Look at the individual hotel rooms are like little cottages. But everywhere you look, it is definitely like being in another world. This is one of the uh, oldest and original buildings there in the town. It seems like such a happy place. Yeah, very much. This little plaza has some stores behind stores. So it's, it's like a little walkthrough village. And that's the third windmill. Now this is a tower that is a half scale replica of the actual tower in Copenhagen. And it's now Tower Pizza, which I don't think the one in Copenhagen probably <laughs> is. And I had to do that with Victor Borga's name on it. That's right.
Now, one of the things they're known for is a motorcycle museum. Really, really was looking forward to this. And unfortunately, they are only open on Saturday and Sunday. We were there on a weekday. And so I got some shots at least through the window of some of the vintage motorcycles that they have. They have quite a collection. That one has a gear shift on the side of the tank. I've never seen that done on a <laughs> motorcycle before. But that's on the list for the return trip. That's right. The Elverhoy Museum is uh, a couple blocks off the main street. And this is a great place. It's a museum of history and art. And the history, this was actually a recreation of an 18th century Danish building. There is not a single nail or screw in that building. It's all put together with wood joints, pins, made the way that they constructed buildings in the 18th century in, in Denmark. They've got some great Danish artifacts in there. This was actually, a, <coughs> excuse me, actually a home. And this was their kitchen. Everything painted. The cabinets and, and the walls are all painted. It was really beautiful. And then the rooms are all fixed up so you get an idea of what life was like during this time. Those are the, the tools that they used to build a house like this. Not only do you step back in time, but you step into another world, another mm -hmm. part of the another world. Another culture mm -hmm. entirely, yes. So not only is the museum great, and the building that's in the uh, that the museum's in is great. They've got a great little uh, courtyard around the the back side of it, and this is a layout of what the city of Solvang looked like when it was originally founded. And they've got the street names on there. There were some street names that were changed, I believe, in the fifties. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, this is this is what the little town looked like originally but it not only has those things but they do a uh, an art display in the right hand side of the building and while we were there it was uh, called music is love it was photography by Henry Diltz and you'll see a lot of famous faces there on the wall he has got countless photographs he is the only photographer to ever win a Grammy. I thought that was really neat because yeah. of the work that he's done with the artists and album covers and that sort of thing. Tina Turner that we just lost right there. Uh, but it's it's amazing. The, the, the pictures tell such a story. So after the downtown, it was time to roam the countryside. And roaming the countryside, this was only about three or four minutes outside of town. But Sunstone Winery, you drive right in through the vineyard. Grapes are on the vine. And uh, what a beautiful, probably the, the prettiest winery we've ever been to. It was a great setting. It really was. They had a uh, seating area outdoors and it was a lovely day for it. They also had another seating area out behind the wall, which is that. And they had two different menus for their tastings. We did the reserve menu, which is on the, the left there. And there were a couple of whites and the rest were reds. And I say we, Maggie didn't partake. She just <laughs> laid there and watched. They also do have a tasting area inside that they'll use in inclement weather little gift shop if you want t-shirts or anything to remember the the visit by and then they also have their cellars where the wine is actually in the barrels they're aging this felt like stepping into the old world yeah it's beautifully done the building has been there for a few years, but it's certainly not as old as it looks. It's been created to, to look like an old Tuscan building and done very well. And good wine too. 
Next is the old mission Santa Inez. This came about in 1804, and this is one of the original California missions. Arches all the way down along the side of it. And it has one of the El Camino Rail bells out in front of it. The mission building itself was not open when we were there, but the grounds tell quite a story. This is one of the original reservoirs. The gardens are incredible. There was an Indian village at the rear of the, uh, the church. These are the foundations that are left of those buildings. and a beautiful little meditation garden. The plants, the trees. This is right on the very east edge of town. So it's probably could be walking distance. It'd be quite a little walk, but we drove out to it. This is their rose garden. And there were originally 23 arches going down the side of the building. This is actually the remains of the 19th arch. There were a couple more beyond this. So the other ones have been rebuilt. And the grapes over here are actually were brought over by Spanish monks. So Kathy, what did you think about our day in the Danish capital of America, Solvang, California? This place is awesome. I've been waiting a long time to be here. It is amazing. It has something for everyone. The landscaping is beautiful and everything is so clean and well maintained. If you haven't been here before, this is a place you definitely have to put on your bucket list. So with that, if you've enjoyed our video today, leave us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and ring the notification bell. And that way you'll know when all of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.